All right, so this is Bloody Palace. And, uh, yeah, I suppose it's, I guess, to make up, I guess, for, uh, not doing it on the hardest difficulty, I suppose. <laughs> but, yeah, you know the reasons I've explained. So, this mode is... It's uh, 9,999 levels long, and uh, I forget which one does what, but I think this one does one, this does like 10, this does like 100, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but I can't remember. All I know is that you go at, at a maximum, you go 100 levels per time. So you're not doing all 9,000 levels one by one, don't worry. <laughs> uh, so I think you get different like drops or different, yeah, different enemies with different drops if you go to a certain level. So I think it's supposed to like, if you're in trouble, then you go to a level, go to one of the other levels and it gives you health or some such thing. I think that's how it works. It's been a while since I've looked into the ins and outs of this m mode. It's been quite some time, so I don't remember it all that well. But anyway, if you die, you're done. So if you die on the final boss, which I've done, then you start right from the beginning. It's really good. <laughs> ah, the Bayonetta, please. Because I'm Bayonetta, they use square to to go through things, and this they use circle. Alright. Yeah, it's, uh... The setup I have currently, which is maximum, I mean, you don't really need maximum Devil Trigger bars, but, uh, I have it. But pretty much the setup I have right now is pretty much perfect, pretty much ideal. Not perfect, but it's ideal. Uh, primarily, why do I have what? I why do I only? Why do I not have the whole health bar done? Because I can't find the final blue warp. It's eluded my capture, and I don't know where it is. And uh, to be honest, I can't be bothered to find it. So there's that. But it's not necessary. <sighs> so it should be okay. That uh, should be a okay. I haven't played this in a little bit now. <laughs> I took a little break from the main game playthrough to this. So yeah, it's been a little while, so I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty, but I should be okay. And I'm pretty tired right now, so... Ah, <sighs> oh, damn it. I didn't catch it. Now I've just made the problem worse. So if I'm correct, once you split them up, and you kill the ones that were split, uh, it gives you uh, health and such. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Come back here, you little faggot. Alright, there we go. Come, come back here, there you go. <laughs> oh, 
Then after this, I'm going to play me some Bayonetta. Some lovely, lovely Bayonetta. Oh, shit. Uh. All right, so far everything's pretty, pretty simple, but it's going to get much, much worse. Oh wow, I didn't realize how much damage that did to him. Well, there it is. That's a better choice, obviously. <laughs> I didn't realize just how much damage it did. And it does it for free. See, Red Virgil does it for hard pockets. I do it for free. Top cat, or some such thing. Oh, however, oh, what I am finding though is that my hands are getting sore. I'm not used to doing this now. <laughs> oh shit, dude, my hands were really conditioned to do this kind of shit because I was playing like nonstop. But I've taken a break now, and wow, we. <laughs> My hand hurts. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was somewhat unexpected. I mean, I shouldn't have, you know, I should have expected it, but I didn't expect such a short break would do that. <laughs> well, dang. That's highly unfortunate. <coughs> I thought it was dead. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? There we go. Alright. Fire. Okay, so, uh, we've still got a ways to go. <laughs> this won't end for a while. So, these are the enemies that are really easy, and I don't know why they're here. They don't really get any stronger like the other enemies do. At least from what I've saw. Seen, rather. They just sort of <laughs> stay being really weak. Oh <sighs> shit. I am sorry. There we go. Alright, so these ones are the ones that move. 
Well, they've all moved a little bit, but... Okay. They are the ones with the red things, though. Which means they are going to be a bit more aggressive. I think not. Good sir. Alright, fire. <laughs> he was about to turn aggro and I was like, nope. Just shut him down. So they do um, pity floors. <laughs> or floors that help you get some health. Occasionally. Uh, that was just a pity floor. <laughs> Highly unfortunate, but he didn't hit me, I don't think. It's kind of difficult to know when you've been hit sometimes, because you don't really flinch while you're in Devil Trigger. That's one of the pluses of Devil Trigger. You don't flinch, and you don't really take much... You take less damage. So it's really nice. Which is why I would recommend, if you do this, you have the infinite DT. You know, if you're a, if you're a scrub like I am, because <laughs> I'm pretty scrubby, <laughs> I'm not I'm not good. Uh oh, although to be honest, I am a lot worse at bayonetta. So <laughs> bayonetta is really where I don't shine. <laughs> I'm just ugh. I'm pretty trash at bayonetta. This level, this level is nice. I like this. This level is pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna take this out, and hopefully, uh, it's gonna come out to play to do this, which is what I wanted it to do. I didn't take advantage of it all that well. Oh well, it's dead now anyway. Yeah, if yeah, I could have killed it when he did the lasers, but I fucked it up. I didn't do it quite right. Again, probably because I haven't played the game in a while. What the shit is with my camera? That was interesting. It was probably me trying to focus on one of those, and they went underground. Plebs. Alright, let's do this. So, uh, obviously, I don't know. I haven't mentioned it in this particular set of videos. But, uh, I've. I don't. Have I mentioned it? I'm not sure. But anyway, uh. I've actually remapped two of the buttons. So, Devil Trigger is now square, and the shoot button is now L1. So, it just flipped the positions, basically. And the reason I did that is because it's much easier to spam the uh, spirit swords and do combos if your thumb isn't also trying to spam the spirit swords. 
So you, on your other hand, that's pretty much free to do whatever it wants. That's where you're spamming the swords. So that's how I'm able to spam the swords while I play. It's just a simple remap of the buttons. Which is uh, a tactic that was used pretty widely in uh, DMC4 because of the, the charge shot. Which is a tremendous asset to be able to pull off whenever you need it. Uh, so I actually brought it from DMC4, that idea, but I figured that it would work really well for Virgil. I mean, doing it doesn't really benefit Dante too much, except, yeah, except, uh, if you trigger the Devil Trigger, uh, it doesn't break up your killer B combo as badly as shooting. So, when I was really bad at doing it, that was the reason, but... For Virgil, it's way helpful. So... It's really helpful for Virgil. Because obviously he does quite a bit of damage with his sword. And, uh... Combo that with whatever combo you're doing, and it's pretty effective. See what I mean? They didn't really get any better. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, though. Oh, that, they're not as effective as I'd hoped. I just can't get a good cancel, uh, jump cancel, uh, sp spot. Oh well. How about on these? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Got it. So I am pretty tired right now, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why, but... Uh, that's how it is. Uh, they're not in full runaway mode yet, then. They're not full dickhead mode. Because <laughs> they get pretty bad. But, uh, parries. It's always the best thing to do. Wait, did I just hear it? Yep. <laughs> I was pretty sure that I heard the cries of that thing. What floor are we on? So yeah, that thing gets butt hurt whether you pay attention to it or not. It's like, you're hitting me too much, and then it just goes and goes away and does that shit. It's like, you're not paying any attention to me, and does it again. It's a needy enemy. <laughs> it's needy. There we go. 
Oh, that does a lot of damage. Shit. I shouldn't have stayed in the fire that long. I tried to go through the fire and the flames, but I just could not go on. Ah, the lovely Jester. Yes, I'm gonna shrek your face, buddy. That surprisingly worked. That worked surprisingly well. God, this is here hard to keep up. <laughs> that was pretty glorious. Holy shit. <laughs> That's hurt. That is seriously fucking with my hand, though. Just get him. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> ah, shit. My hand sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. He's just not used to this hardcore MLG shit. Fuck. Come on. Hit me. So I can kill you before this happens. Alright. Dang it. Thought I'd maybe just escape it, but... Alright. Kill this thing before it multiplies. Come on. There you go. Any more? Nope. Alright, cool. By the way, <laughs> I, s I sometimes see doing bloody palace mode as a recommended way to farm for orbs. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not good. It really isn't. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty bad for orbs, actually. You spend an hour... And you don't really get many. So... It's pretty worthless for p red orbs. Which is unfortunate considering how much time you spend on it. But honestly, you could get more orbs just spamming the final boss on easy. So, or... Spamming the final boss on uh, Heaven or Hell really up to you. Maybe you'd want to do it on easy just so you can try and guarantee you an S rank. Or heaven or hell with uh, Royal Guard I think. Not too sure.
But yeah, it's like for style points, I do mission 18. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, for style points, you want to do mission 18. For orbs, you want to do mission 20. It's uh, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. And I tell you what, it's much, much easier than doing uh, bloody palace mode. And also more orbs and style points per hour than uh, doing a bloody palace mode. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, those are pretty good. Come at me, bro. Fuck this. I'll just take these on with the trusty killer bee. Come on, just die. Shouldn't have jumped. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, those, the repetitions of those get insane after a while. It's pretty bad. poorly thought out. <laughs> out in the end so oh snap <laughs> well that went well Fuck. <laughs> 